Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video I'll discuss a topic that has weighed on my heart for a long time. There is a saying that uh, goes along the lines of the secret that you are trying so hard to conceal is the one that you're dying to reveal. And there is no time like the present, so why don't I just get started with it? A lot of followers on my channel have been asking me in the last months to play Title Tuesday events while streaming. And I decided to create this video for you as an explana explanation for why I probably want to be doing so. First, I'll address a couple of facts that can't be refuted. Fact number one. I won two title Tuesdays on chess.com in the second half of 2015, earning a combined prize of approximately $1,300. Fact number two. My account, Talbaron, was subsequently deleted from chess.com. Fact number three. I confessed to what happened to my account and was returned. Well, for those of you who are big fans of technicalities, uh, a new account by the same username was reinstated. Fact number four. I offered to give the money back and my offer was declined. Fact number five. I agreed to a lifetime ban from future Title Tuesdays and other money tournaments and special events held on chess.com. Now, I'm going to address um, this topic uh, and structure it in, uh, in the form of interviewing myself in first body with some simple questions and I'll attempt to answer them from my own perspective of what happened. So, question number one. Did I cheat using a chess engine? In short, yes. But only in the last game of the second tournament. I played against a player who I considered to be an obvious engine user for many months whose account wasn't banned for some reason. I started with 8 out of 8 and faced that guy in the last round. I had already won the tournament and was extremely eager to go for the Fisher prize with 9 out of 9. And uh, I was really hoping that in the pairing I will not be paired against him because I knew I will have no chance of, of beating him and uh, not even drawing. And uh, judging by how he, he was treated in the last couple of months, uh, I convinced myself that they will not delete his account and I will just lose. So, unfortunately at that point, emotions got the better of me and very regretfully I did something that I cannot rationally explain and that I regret to this day. Ironically, uh, we both played it perfectly and uh, I held him to a draw rather than a win, which is obviously what I was hoping for. Other than this game, I did not use any chess engine assistance and for the haters and non-believers of you you can cite statistics all you want but this is the truth and I'm in the process of uh, being in peace with it okay so this is the first and most difficult question for me to answer and uh, Let's go to question number two. Damn, you're a good interviewer. Did I violate chess.com's 
terms of service in addition to the above mentioned engineers so as i mentioned earlier i did not use any chess engine in any of the other games however the answer to this second question is a big yes as mentioned uh, i didn't uh, do the exact same thing like in the last round but uh, in my opinion this was my my main uh, crime and uh, unfortunately i cannot elaborate on this topic and uh, unfortunately for your curiosity i mean i of course i can but i decided that uh, the ethical thing to do is to keep the truth uh, on this in this regard between me chess.com's officials and um, those who are involved personally uh, with the above mentioned games and i want to state that whenever i met one of the players in person i uh, talked to them and explained what happened and surprisingly all of them including the top players were uh, forgiving and accepted me and i'm grateful for that the hardest part is to forgive myself but uh, as i mentioned this is uh, still processing i'm still processing this entire thing um so you can speculate all you want but uh, i kindly advise to all those who don't believe me and uh, those who seek to defend my name for one reason or another um, not to spend your time and energy on this topic as it won't be productive to anyone as far as i can see if you can't help yourself despite my request i politely ask you to refrain from debating it anonymously while slandering my name left and right which is already in pretty bad shape especially after this uh, video question number three why didn't i address the topic until now well there are two reasons that i can come up with this moment reason number one is that uh, i actually did want to address it in the first video on my channel but the topic already blew up completely out of proportions and uh, i was very much afraid that it, instead of calming the situation and inspiring people uh, with this message of truth and uh, love and so on uh, and regret it will just add more fuel to the fire and I'm still afraid that this is what will happen but it's out of my control now so it's not my uh, in my hands anymore and the second reason which is um, something that's very painful for me to admit and uh, a proof that I still have a lot to learn is that I was egoistically hoping to leverage my confession to reinstate my uh, rights playing on money tournaments and so on hoping to stream them in order to obviously um, benefit this channel and uh, I don't even mind uh, uh, if I were to ask if I were asked to like donate future winnings or something like this but obviously it doesn't make me righteous or anything I'm just mentioning that I wanted to leverage my confession and uh, chess.com's official very rightfully declined and uh, I thank you for it and I now realize that uh, I, I should confess because it's the right thing to do and not because there is anything attached to it and um, 
it wasn't clear nobody asked me to do this video and there's nothing for me to gain in fact I have a feeling that those who hate me will think this is half truth and those who who didn't even suspect to just uh, start doubting everything that I do will do in the future or ever have achieved in the past but that's a price that I'm willing to pay uh, and uh, in a way I also feel like I kind of deserved uh, all the accusations that I received uh, so far um, and uh, I had a lot of guilt and yeah I just feel like it's uh, a good idea to I, I, I mean I felt it was a good idea to um, not address this topic and let people do whatever uh, bad thing that they were doing to my name on reddit and other sites so yeah but now I say no more I feel like it's a good time to address the topic and uh, I hope that uh, some of you will agree with me and um, last but not least, why talk about it now after all this time? And uh, well, the answer is quite uh, simple. It's not because of the pressure that I've received from all the haters. Uh, on the contrary, this pressure. Uh, acted as a reason for me to postpone it because I was very much afraid that uh, that uh, it will go out of proportions once again and that those who claim I used a chess engine in all the games uh, will claim that I have done it also in the past and so on They've al they already have claimed that my game against Carlsen was uh, unjust and so on and uh, I don't want it uh, to happen but again this is not the reason I talk about it now the reason is that many of you uh, uh, the, both uh, the loyal and the new followers on this channel uh, that has been increasing in popularity and uh, recently and uh, I've received a lot of love have been asking me uh, more and more often if I'm going to play uh, in the title Tuesday this month and attempt to qualify for the Grandmaster Blitz, Bun Blitz Battle on uh, one of the four title Tuesdays and it breaks my heart to ignore these messages ignoring the the accusations also felt very wrong but but they were already claiming that I used the engine in all the games and that as a fact so I felt like it will only make things worse and it was justified to ignore it but ignoring those they just want me to stream and want to 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 see my content and improve it feels so wrong and yeah I don't want to do it anymore I just don't want to do it so here you go this is the reason and it's very painful i thought i would feel better at this point but i guess it will take some time so what i wanted to say in conclusion is that If I could ask you for one small favor is that whenever you see someone mentioning the topic either in my comments or in some other sites uh, just link them to this video so they will not waste any more energy at least I hope uh, they won't and I really really want to put this topic behind me I wanted to do it long time ago without having done this video but I 
feel like this is the first major step that I'm taking action-wise uh, towards putting this thing behind me and uh, I think now finally from this moment on uh, my process won't be a on, in regard to this uh, uh, incident, it won't be a process of suppression or repression. Re I won't be repressing the topic, I will just be healing from it over time. So, thanks a lot for listening, and uh, hopefully. That what I'm doing was set as an example rather than something bad. So I guess if I'm already doing this then I might also exploit this stage to say one more thing. Um, it is painful right now but I have a feeling that things will be better in the future regardless of how people will react and I'm very optimistic and uh, it would be my honor if any one of you who might have their own secret um, will be inspired somewhat from this example uh, to come up to someone you love and tell them what it is that you want to tell them course assuming that you have something if you don't then just ignore it and just know that your fears are much worse than the worst thing that can actually happen so yeah I know I'm, I'm doing the right thing probably but uh, if any one of you will come to me in the future and tell me that this video or topic kind of inspired you to do something right in your own lives and it would have worth it uh, a hundred times more and uh, last but not least you have you probably have your own opinion by now and your own general intuition about what you feel or don't feel that have happened but I will just uh, advise you that uh, if you have any bad opinions of me and you think they are somewhere near facts, uh, I would love to hear them in person if we ever happen to meet. But as I mentioned already earlier, don't share it publicly online while slandering my name anonymously because I do it does eventually reach my eyes and it's very painful to read and uh, especially knowing that there's nothing I can do about it so yeah just s stick to facts I mean uh, my main thing uh, at least what I hope will be the main thing that I do is to promote chess and the love for chess so i want you to do the same and don't waste your energy in this highly irrelevant topic to anyone's benefit thank you very much and uh, hopefully see you in the next videos